here with Kathy, and she is a Pilates instructor, and she also has a passion for health. So thank you for being here with me today. Thank you for having me. So how did you decide to start doing Pilates and wanting to become an instructor? Well, I started in New York City as a dancer, and um, I was at the Martha Graham School of Dance, and they highly recommended that we do Pilates to strengthen our core so we'll move more from our center. Um, instead of just swinging the arms around. So um, I started Pilates then, and then when I moved to Texas, because I had my first baby and I wanted to be close to family, so I moved to Texas and I was taking privates twice a week. And um, it was kind of expensive and I thought like, wow, I could teach this. So then I just got certified and I was teaching in like seven different places, just a class here, class here. And no one had all the Pilates equipment. It was just, you know, map stuff here and maybe some reformers here. So then I decided to um, go ahead and open up a place. So that's what I did. And I started in this little um, room at the chiropractor's place. And it just kept building and building. And then I looked for a space and I found this awesome house. And so um, that's how it started. I love it. Yeah, your studio is gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you. Believe it. Um, I take Pilates sporadically, and but I took it every day for a while, and what I really noticed was my core, which is so strong. I love how you guys really focus on that. It's like from the core comes everything, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What are a couple of your favorite exercises, and why do you love them? Um, I really like bridging. Uh, it has our spinal articulation, but you can also um, do a little bit of translation of the spine, side, lateral translation side to side. You can um, do a little bit of uh, rotation. I, I love bridging because the spine is so long and from the top to the bottom you can get lots of great movement and just wake up that energy in the spine. Awesome. Float your hips up. Now, as you roll, as you begin to roll down, let this right hip hang a little bit lower than the left. So start to roll down, melt your sternum, and roll it down and let that right hip land on the mat before the left. All the way down. Square off your hips at the bottom, and inhale, float it back up. Now, inhale at the top, Melt the sternum down. Let that left hip hang a little bit lower. And you might notice with your scoliosis that one side's a little bit harder or easier than the other. All the way down, let the hip land and then square off the hips. And now do one more bridge through the middle. And feel how much easier that bridge is than the very first one. Melting down. Reaching your knees forward. So feel a length in the spine as you roll it down. It looked smoother too in the first one. So that's bridging on the reformer. Awesome. Yeah, so um, the core, it's interesting because most all the Pilates equipment, like when you're doing leg work, mm -hmm. you're using your core because um, there's this muscle that's deep inside you that's attached to your spine on the inside of the head and it actually holds your leg out there, but it's really in your spine, like in your core. Mm -hmm. and, um, and the diaphragm is very big in the core, so there's four main core muscles that a lot of people don't realize. They, they think that, oh, it's just the abdominals. Mm -hmm. But really it's the diaphragm, it's the pelvic floor muscles, it's the transverse abdominals that is like way up here, down, and wrapped around to the back. Um, and then your multifidus muscles are up along the spine. So it's like the front, the back of you, the top, the diaphragm, and the pelvic floor. So all those together in this whole area make up the core. So it's, it's really beneficial to work the core um, in your movement, to have breath in your movement and, and this kind of thing because it, it, helps, you, it helps you to you know, have a better posture and awareness and, and just a better quality of life. Right. Okay. Awesome. Do you have a mixture of the apparatus and the floor? Do you incorporate them both? Yes. All the time. Um, I mostly teach um, privates and group classes. Um, so I'll, even on the reformer can do a mat exercise. And then to make it more challenging, um, we'll add, you know, 
movement on the reformer. So the mat work, some people think the mat work is a lot more challenging than the equipment, but it can go either way because sometimes you have to be able to do the work on the equipment first before you can do it on the mat. Mm -hmm. I mean, you have to be able to do it on the mat before you can do it on the equipment, mm -hmm. and then if, sometimes if you can't do something on the equipment, I mean, on the mat, then <laughs> you can yeah. do it on the equipment right. to help you facilitate the movement better. Really focus on that specific muscle, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So what does a typical day look like for you as a Pilates instructor? Well, I have three kids, so um, I wake up, you know, have my breakfast, meet, um, all the needs of my kids, make their lunches, their breakfasts, kind of take them to school. I'm usually here by 8.30, my first client's at 8.30. Mm -hmm. And I have like a little five minute break in between each client and, um, and in between each class. And then I'm usually done by 2.30 and then I go pick up my kids. Okay, I like it. <laughs> yeah. Um, are there any food philosophies you stick to or um, I guess any diets? Well, I really believe in living. <laughs> yeah. And food for me is, is part of living. Mm -hmm. and, and I don't really stick to anything solid, but I do like to feel good. And I know what foods make me feel good and what foods don't make me feel what good. Energy. Right. My, yeah. my dosha is pitta. Mm -hmm. So pittas um, eat a certain amount of food, different kind of foods to balance them. And that's what I try to do. I eat foods that match that dosha, the pitta. So um, I don't I don't um, really follow any diet, but um, I know what foods make me feel good and what which and ones. I think don't. that's the most important thing because when you really focus on just one diet, it's so restricting, and you're always like craving mm -hmm. more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I do have a little fridge and I have snacks in there throughout the day, you know, mm -hmm. and it might be like a little orange or you know right. some tomatoes or something like that. I like to eat fruits and vegetables and. Um, um, high sources of protein. Yeah. If you guys are around the Dallas area and want to take some Pilates classes, I'll put her info below.